Hello, I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch. And in this video, we've got a mid-afternoon Mars Munch. Mars. Caramel centres. As you probably know by now, I love caramel. And these are double caramel. Hopefully. Chewy chocolate biscuits containing chocolate chips and caramel chocolate chips with a soft caramel centre. They've got caramel chips and a caramel centre. These were 99p from Lidl. Got them quite a while back actually. They've just been sitting at the bottom of my stash bag which waiting to be reviewed. Got loads of stuff in there at the moment, especially with all the, the stuff I got from, from the international food shop. There is loads of it. There's loads in the bag, there's some in the fridge, there's some in the freezer, there's some in my cupboard down here. Loads of it. Anyway, yeah, 99p. Mars, are they going to taste like an actual Mars bar? And am I, go am I going to be able to taste the double caramel it? Let's find out. Right. Oh. Right. There's eight of them in there. And they re Oh yeah, they smell lovely. I don't know why I'm moving my head back <laughs> side to side. Yeah. I'm not sure if they smell like a Mars bar, but they've definitely got that chocolate cookie smell and chocolate <laughs> chocolate cookie and chocolate yes yes Steve you're making total sense and you can smell the caramel in fact let's find one that's got even more oh yeah look at that one that one there it's got loads of little caramel chips look at that <clears throat> Look at that. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Is it going to be gooey as well? Am I going to be able to bend it or will it break and I get crumbs go everywhere? <laughs> Let's find out. It's gooey. And oh, look. Caramel pull. <laughs> right. Half of it at once. Here we go. Let's go for it. As you'd expect, yes, it is soft because it's a soft cookie, which is what a cookie should be. It shouldn't be hard like a Maryland cookie, should it? Maryland cookies aren't cookies, they're biscuits. This is a cookie. This is a proper cookie because it's soft. And let's see if we can get another bit of caramel pull there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh that was wonderful. Was it good for you? Little dangly bit of caramel. Let's see what the caramel was like on its own. <laughs> this could be entertaining. Ah, mm. 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 Oh, that caramel on its own is lovely. I'm getting quite carried away here, aren't I? Um, does it taste like a Mars bar? No, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like a Mars bar. It tastes like a really good chocolate cookie with chocolate chips and caramel, which is what it says on the pack. If you like cookies, you like chocolate, you like caramel, you'll like them. I like them. It's 
Now, the question is, do I put them in my biscuit tin? I call it a tin. Do you call it a tin? It's not a tin. Because it's not made of tin, is it? Usually, all I've got in here, and all I've got in here at the moment, is good old chocolate digestives. You can't go wrong with chocolate digestives, can you? These are Asda own brand ones, and they're absolutely fine. They're, they're nice, they're good. Why buy McVitie's, for, which are, I don't know, two or three times as much? Anyway, I digress. Do I put these lovely Miles cookies in there? Because <laughs> my son's coming home. Actually, are they vegetarian, first of all? Let's check that, let's check that. Oh, am I, am I going to be able to find it quickly? There's so many ingredients on here. God. Yes, yeah, suitable vegetarians. Okay. So, yeah, my son, when he left for work earlier, a couple of hours ago, he said to me, right, he said, I'm home tonight. He said, and then I'll be at my girlfriend's for the next uh, three days. Okay, mate, I said, yeah, see you in a few days. Because our shifts, we're like ships that pass in the night. Because he works in the afternoon into the evening. I work early morning and then most of the morning. So, yeah, we don't see each other that often. <laughs> and he's not here that often. Anyway, I digress. So, do I put them in here thinking he might find them tonight? Or do I leave them until he's gone tomorrow and I'm back from work and then I'll put them in there? What do you think I'll do? Comment below. Right. I think that answers the question, doesn't it? I've just sealed it up and put it back over there. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, I, I can recommend them, by the way. You, you probably gathered that. I can recommend them. Not in Old from Little or anywhere else you might see them. Yeah, they're good. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you saw my food haul video, it's definitely looking like the lobster noodles will be reviewed first. Where are they? Oh, they're in there somewhere, hidden behind all my spices and mm, stuff. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be the lobster noodles. Um, I'm going to give you until Sunday evening. So at the end of Sunday, if you haven't commented for which one you want me to review first, then it won't count okay so on monday i will check and i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do this yet i've got an idea of what i'm going to do i will let you know i've got a big idea actually i hope you like it so yeah if you've enjoyed this hit the like button subscribe if you like my videos thanks for watching see you in the next one tomorrow at 2 p.m